everyone and welcome back to Zudesia Zoo! Right in the eyes, huh? Right in the eyes. But we are back from our little expedition exploring up around where we had popped down to see what was surrounding our future zoo area. Lots and lots of fungi for so many delicious mushrooms. We might have to make some stew pretty soon. And a lot of forest. So, are you guys ready? We finally have it. We have the very first exhibit we are going to build in the new world, in the new zoo. And it's wonderful to announce that thanks to you guys, over 300 of you at the tallying of the poll, having voted on our straw poll, we are going to have a red wolf exhibit. Thank you so much to all of you who voted. It really helped to see what you guys are passionate about, what you want to learn more about, what you want to know more about in terms of the animals. And we're going to learn about all of the animals. Don't worry. I plan on putting in dozens and dozens of exhibits as time goes on, hopefully being able to learn how to tweak models and add new textures so that we'll have a huge selection of mobs to pick from. But to start with, we are going to begin our zoo with the red wolves, who are actually a species of smaller red wolf that are, you know, like a smaller species of wolf that you can mostly find in the east coast of the United States where I live. And they actually are being removed from the wild. A recent law has been passed to remove them completely from the wild, and they're all going to only be in captivity. There's only a couple hundred of them left in the entire world. Very interesting. Very interesting that. So we're going to start off our amazing zoo by talking about this endangered animal and building a path over to its exhibit, getting its exhibit all set up, putting in a little family. Maybe we'll figure out some way for you guys to help out so that our red wolves can have puppies. That would be amazing too, getting a breeding program. Oh, we might have to build a conservation breeding research center, just like in Zoo Tycoon 2. That would be amazing. And in the future, I hope once I get moved and everything gets settled, I might be able to go with a camera and the intent to interview to some of the Red Wolf sanctuaries that actually are close by where I live. I can actually do that. Possibly. I could do that. So keep an eye out, guys. As you know, we mix in real life vlogs quite often with the work that we do here and our pixel biology community. And I will be happy to share the adventure of actually going to see real life red wolves and speaking in depth about their conservation status and their care and their well-being with the people who take care of them. So, oh my goodness. That said, we have to start at the very beginning. Also, it's a little dark in here. Did I forget? I did. I want bright mood. Yay! That's much better. That's much, much better. Oh my goodness. I was making sure because we had uh, a couple things spawn over here. I was making sure it was light enough for them. But the excitement over getting the red wolves put into this world is going to be a little bit slow paced because we do have to first make a path over to where we want to start the temperate exhibits. So that means building the lily bridge. So the lily pad bridge is going to go up today. And we are also, oh, what the heck? I must have been clearing trees out over there. You can see where the leaves have just popped right off. And we're also going to try to make a little bit of a path kind of from where I'm pretty sure that hilltop pretty sure that's going to be the entrance of the zoo. 99% sure. We might try to level it off a little bit, see how low we can go. Um, if not, just make it level all the way across. That might work better. So we're going to play with that a little bit and we're going to try to get a path so that we can properly dart to and fro, hauling resources and getting ready to put our red wolves in. But remember guys, I am going to try and I don't know how successful I'll be, but try to get the exhibits done within a week. Thankfully, we always have Specimen Saturday, which is an hour long expedition around the zoo. So that will definitely help us out. But to start with, I kind of need to clear out, let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got a lot of different stones. Hello there, are other stones. Um, where the heck am I gonna put all these? I guess they're ores different kinds of ores, fancy ores, tiger eye ore, and apparently we can put these into polishers and there's all sorts of different machines, like this amber shard can go into a gem, uh, like analyzer, and it'll pop out like an amber gem, and then you can take the amber gem and put it into a gem cutter and you can make all sorts of like really cool, really cool things with it. See, it won't look it up on, on the crafting book. Unfortunately, the crafting book is a little bit, a uh, little bit limited in its options. Let's see, hmm. Oh, hang on. See, well, here's here's somewhat of an idea of what we can build in this world and it's copious amounts of a bazillion things. So trying to actually narrow this down could take a while. But I just wanted to show you guys that there's a lot here and a lot we could build with. Glowstone dust, just the normal stuff. You can see there's slab posts now. Um, 
goodness. Oh, yeah, and there's soil testing kits that actually do something. Oh. Stacks of paper, slime balls, seared bricks. Uh, there's cat statues. Really cool cat statues and dog statues that we could build. Graves. Uh, chisel. New kind of chisel. Different ice pieces. Bamboo thatching. Oh. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Sugar lumps. Iron oh. trap door. Yeah, there's a lot out there. There's a lot out here. Red net meter. What the heck is this? Slime and beginning syringe. It's not even like in, in any kind of order. It's just it's just mass chaos. It's just chaos. And we can we can woo! See? Hang on. Pretty sure if I go up a little bit more. Here we go. So like the Coke oven turns that into charcoal. There's some dinosaur meat that we could roast to toast and make into stuff. See what I mean? Like it would take forever to really sort through all this stuff and figure out what we could make. But it is out there. Apparently we can make sodium dust and cactus slices. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, now it's raining. That's fine. Oh, and here it is. The warrior tag to track any killed monsters. The cobblestone structure pipes. But I won't fuss with that any longer. Just I wanted to give you guys a hint. Oh my gosh, this is a huge storm. It's amazing. I love giant storms like this. Oh my goodness, Lillian Tate. This is the coolest. Look at it. Look at how cool this storm looks from up there. Okay, don't fall down, Siri. Don't fall to my doom. But just look how cool this storm looks. And there's a little wild mushroom just hanging out down there, too. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's just so neat. What you doing down there, wild mushroom? Oh, look, and there's a wild Komodo dragon down there with them. Oh, so cool. Hello, Captain Kaz. Captain Kaz is wandering in to check on what's going on. I love that there's two ways to get in here. Oh my gosh, it's so noisy. Zip in here. All right, let's see. Easy there, weather. Easy there. I love the sound of the rain, just not when I can't hear anything but the rain. All right, so let's go ahead and we're just gonna toss all of the odd shards and ore and all this this stuff that we're gonna have to figure out later in here. Lots and lots of food. I can actually have something to eat. We'll have to figure out how to make a compost bin in the future. Uh, fluoride shards, amber shards, barrel shards. Look at all the shards that we could turn into pretty gems. Oh, that would be amazing. A lot of you have been saying how cool it will be to be able to do um, mining in this world, and it's totally going to be so fun. There are just dozens and dozens and dozens of new ores and coal pieces. I should probably keep those out. And new things to find, so it should be a lot of fun. And scooch along here, and scooch along here. Okay, let's see. Where am I putting all the... There we go. Coal, armory, and miscellaneous supplies. Don't you love it when, like, we're organized? I love it when we're organized. It's very helpful. Put that away. Oops, forgot the serpentine ore. And normally I, I will sort this stuff off camera, but some of you find it very soothing. Can't blame you. Sometimes I do too. <gasps> Look at the garnet shard. Imagine making garnet. Plus, I think it's important because you guys really help me when I like lose things to know where everything is, at least in the beginning. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put the wood away. Actually, I should probably keep some of the oak wood. Um, I'm going to keep some of the oak wood to put upstairs as firewood because I need to light. Well, actually, I don't need to light my oven anymore. It's hooked up. It's like a gas range or something. That's so surreal to know that. Oh, all these amazing new tools that we have. It's really interesting. All right, let's start to... Oh, wait, where are the weird ores? Where am I putting the weird ores? I thought I was putting them in here. Did I put them in here? Oh, oh well. They can just stay in here for now. All right, ore, 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 and shards, onyx ore, jasperoid ore, and that's a fossil. This is a weird stone. Andersite, there we go. All right, good, good, good. Colors, there you go, rubber. Can I use the rubber to make rubber? Like the rubber wood to make rubber? No, I think you just have to like get the rubber wood, the rubber from it. So that would be in machineries and explosives, I believe. Let's go ahead and put the rubber right there. And then that's good for making machines in the future. I think I actually have some rubber saplings we can put in there too. I do indeed. Wonderful. Well, now we know some of the basics of where everything belongs. Good. That is indeed slightly frightening. Look at that. Oh, look at all those mushrooms. Oh my goodness. Mushrooms stew for days. Speaking of which, I should probably go up in a minute. Lily Tate, you guys stay here to make some mushroom stew. Pigman Fern, how are you doing, sir? Oh, it's so quiet down here. I'm going to have to give the, the chickens... An, ugh, I'm going to have to just... Ah, there we go. 
Professor Cowplant, Experiment 404, and Bella. Glad to see everybody seems to be getting along well. And we can come down into our doo -doo -doo, little fossil chamber and put these fossils away. Just like that. There we go. And where's the other one? There you are. Little fossil piece. Okay, that should be good. Oh, it feels so nice. Like that's the cleaning your house is like an important part of getting used to your home, if you ask me. Knowing that it belongs to you, that you can get everything all tidy. Lily Tate, um here, I'm gonna just bring you guys with me upstairs. The one downside of living in a treehouse, it can it can be a little bit difficult for my dogs to like get around from place to place with me. Alright, let's climb up top. Darling! Darling, are you inside? You're not outside. The other puppies are doing okay. Have to check them for hunger soon. Darling! Darlings, who knows where? We'll find them. Okay, yeah, not over there. The window's open. I love our awesome carpet. Totally cool. It's blended blended blocks, even. Alright, he'll show up. I'm not worried. Artemis is wandering around somewhere, too. If they popped outside, that's a possibility. Okay, everything looks okay in the yard. Everything's all well lit up. That herb garden area over there is really spreading. That'll be fun to poke at later. Let's go. Oh, hey, Artemis, darling! Mwah! There you are. And for those of you guys who are new and have recently asked, Darling is my real-life boyfriend. So he's not just a Minecraft, uh, like a Minecraft partner. He is indeed a reflection of my real-life boyfriend. So there we go. Alright, that's good, that's good. Ah, oh, it's just, it's so nice. Like, sometimes you just want to spend a little bit of time puttering around in your house. Look, I have unpacked my, my goods. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll sort the food later, maybe in a side quest, because I'll have to figure out where everything goes. And for now, I was gonna make this my spice chest actually. So the, ch the crate next to it gets to become the spot where we store all of the food items for now, and then I will sort them, Mwah. there you are darling. I'll sort them more in the future. Okay, how's it doing there? Doing good? Ooh, wow, look at all the food! Look at all the things we have forged up and found, and it's just blissful and awesome, and I love it. In you go. I'm gonna have so many hot, yummy meals later. Oops, stay here, baked potato. I need you at least. So many delicious food things to eat. It's gonna be wonderful. I won't be hungry. Right, let's move these out of the way so I can clear my backpack a little faster. Just take take Tate's backpack and turn it upside down and like shake it out. Out you go, food, out you go. Oops, that's a feather. Oh well, we'll take care of it. Alright, put that in there, and that in there. Darling, look how much food I brought home! It's almost like overlapping itself, my gosh. Alright, Lily's backpack, nothing in there. Tate's backpack. Mushrooms and candleberries and more mushrooms. Delicious blackberries. Oh yeah, that enriched soil. Carrots, strawberries, eggs, wheat, apples, potatoes, pecans. Wow, I really brought home a lot of food. <laughs> I hadn't realized how abundant this world was. We managed to forge up a ton of food without really, like, going anywhere. Alright, I think there's just one left. Yeah, that's empty. And some cantaloupe. Wonderful. Alright, put that away. I still have my big potato. And we're good. Alright, well, I'm going to pop upstairs to my bedroom. Stay, Lily. Stay, Tate. Glad to see their hunger doesn't really seem to go down anymore as long as they're just, like, sitting. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Let's pop into bed. Oh, nice and comfy. There we go. What a beautiful view. This is finally starting to feel quite a bit like home. Artemis, you followed me up. Good kitty. Hello, Nightlock. I still think it's funny Nightlock has decided to take, like, a more naturalistic look, but his, his color might change. Who knows? I won't question it. He's a cat who's spent quite a lot of time around these essence berries, so who knows what's worn off on him. All right, let's gather these guys up. All of my essence berry collection. My presence, uh, precious, precious essence berries. Very hard to find in cave systems. Alright, got that. And where was I putting these? Rare plant specimens? It feels like it should go in rare plant specimens, but treasure chest makes sense too. Alright, so now that we've fiddle fuddled and poked around and put away a bunch of things, mwah, there's darling. I'm gonna grab a little bit more food. I don't think, yeah, I forgot to put bowls up here. So I'm gonna have to make more bowls. So, oh, that, that was the freezer! Cool! I didn't know I had two different spots. That is awesome. 
Gonna grab the cooked pork chop for my dogs. And all right, Lily Tate, we're gonna go back downstairs and start clearing out a lot of area, but primarily gathering up lily pads today so we can make the lily pad bridge so that we can get across. There we go. Hello, Captain Kaz. Hello, kitty kitty. So we can get across to where we're going to put the red wolf exhibit. So this is gonna be fun. Oh, it's just, it's so nice to feel like we're finally getting to a place we can call home. Oh, and look at these. I'm pretty sure these mushrooms are spreading. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, dogs on the ground. Good job, pup pups. I'm gonna gather this up and I don't have, you guys, mom totally forgot to bring like any kind of, any kind of shears. Mom feels silly. Oh, well, we can collect lily pads with our hands, but none of the more delicate flowers. Hello, oh my. Hello? There's a calm, beautiful butterfly and the sound of vicious, violent, angry, going to eat me things. Oh, Lily Tate, I need to tell you guys to follow me, don't I? That might be good. Whoop, whoop, oh, hello! Hey, back off. Don't eat that butterfly. He's, he's just minding his own beeswax, even though he's a butterfly, not a bee. Haha. -ha. Alright, is there, is that, is this where you're coming from? Excuse me, are you a villager zombie? I might have to tend to this area sooner than I thought. And I didn't bring any- wait, I did bring torches. You know what I really need though? I need to get the Moonworm Queen out. She would be like an essential ally, ally even, to, to this area. Lily Tate, do you think I can reach him? I'm gonna have to like make- oh, I'm gonna reach him now! Oops, sorry Lily, oh you surprised me, I didn't hit you, I'm glad though. Well, this is one way to get started. I didn't want to clear this area out so early, but it might be a good thing. Alright. It goes pretty deep, huh? Alright, it pops out the other side at least. Let's check. Come here. Alright, clear through here. And... Oh, look at this! What is this? It's so pretty! Come here, beautiful, beautiful blue thing. Alright, yeah, it does pop out the other side. Chirosocal or something like that. Fascinating. Alright, well, let's clear this out. Oh, what is this? It's a totally different kind of coal, too. Anthrocyte ore. Interesting. There's different types of ores and tiers of ores now. Oh, look, there's a wild mushroom. Okay. Well, at least we semi-cleared out that cave, so hopefully it won't have things too close to the surface anymore. Oh, and look, there's flax. I'll have to collect that with, um with a pair of shears later. If I try to touch flax with my bare hands, it will merely break. Okay. Oh, look, and there's an interesting little cave over here, too, with a bunch of gourds growing in front of it. Isn't that the coolest thing? Just a ton of gourds growing in front. Oh, there's more beautiful ore. All right, that'll have to do for now. Wow. So this little hillside is definitely riddled with, um, riddled with unexpected caves. We might have to, like, clear them out or I don't want to like flatten the land. We'll try to work with the contour of the land while we're doing our work. Wow, there's so many. Whoa, I just landed on top of a boar. I don't know who was more surprised, me or him. We're gonna skedaddle though. Okay, so here we are. This is the spot where we are going to start building our lily bridge. So, let's go to the other side, get a good look. Ah, refreshing water. Wow, that's a lot of geishals. Oh my goodness. Yep, we'll make our lily bridge possibly like at this angle. Yeah, a little diagonal should be nice. We'll pop out here. I forgot to bring signs. Someone suggested, Siri, why don't you make signs? And I went, that's a fantastic idea. And promptly forgot. Oh, look, I made my first bench. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay. All right, let's come over here. And let's go ahead. Oh, I feel so excited. I know it seems like such a mundane way to get started, but there's something about smacking the sign down where you can be like, Lily Bridge exit, or Lily Bridge, temperate forest enter. <laughs> and that's, that's about the best we can do. Uh, entrance, maybe. Can I get, yes, temperate forest entrance. Sweet. We got the whole thing in here. And then... Without, without hesitating, I'm just going to start diving in. We're going to clear out a few trees. This is much harder than <laughs> I think it should, but I feel so guilty whenever I clear trees out. Whoop, there we go. Okay, got some berries without meaning to. And I think right over here, up along 
this little hill, like kind of curving along the hill and moving into the forest. Hello, elephant! And kind of up here a bit is most likely hello, Bun Bun! Yeah, possibly stopping up here and then curving down. Oh, oh my! Thank you, Mr. Elephant. And then curving down will probably be where we put the Red Wolf exhibit. So this will this will be kind of the lower part of it. Red Wolf exhibit. There we go. Let's pop up here to see what might be up top. Very nice. We could probably put like a little a little education slash visitor center up at this height. But I think this is going to work out wonderfully. All right, guys. Well, next time we're going to have to get. Um, the lily bridge finished because I need to be able to go rapidly back and forth. I hate knocking down so many trees, but believe it or not, we're going to clear them out only to turn around and plant a ton of them again. At least with Glorious Grafter, we really can plant a ton of them again because we'll have so many saplings. But yeah, we'll get kind of a little pathway established and started. And we'll get the lily bridge set up so I can go rapidly to either side of the lake with the, or the river. Oh my gosh, Lily, is there a creeper nearby? Okay, I'm on the, I'm on the alert. On the alert, Lily. But yeah, so we can go rapidly across this little river without having to stop. And I will see you guys next time when we really start getting to work. It, we're, don't worry, I know it's really sad and it can sometimes be upsetting to have to like knock down so much of the forest. And we might leave like this little lake even. This could be a nice water feature. So we'll try to work with the land as much as possible, but if I've learned anything in over 500 episodes of building a zoo in Minecraft, it is that you have to really kind of clear things out so you can rebuild them. And don't worry, we'll be very careful as we do it. But alright guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye